Tonight, Louisville is competing for $62 million that would help the Metro's flood prone neighborhoods. It's part of a federal grant from Housing and Urban Development. MSD and other project partners are holding a public meeting about the grant right now. That's at the American Printing House for the Blind. WLKY's Christina Moore is here right now and there with more. Christina? This is the first of two public meeting, meetings, Rick, this week about this grant. And here's how all of this came about. About a year ago, a billion dollars came available for areas that had been dealing with a natural disaster. Now, the majority of that money will actually go to New York and New Jersey, who dealt with Hurricane Sandy. The rest of the cash is up for grabs. And the Commonwealth of Kentucky completed phase one, and now they have until this Tuesday to submit the plans that could allocate $62 million to Jefferson County. Since we are a river community, mm -hmm. our greatest chance for natural disaster is flooding, be it from the high river. Or flash flooding. We had both this year. This year, the Metro saw at least two storm events that caused significant flooding, triggering flood pumping three times, including in July, which was a first. But JP Carson with MSD says it was bad flooding in June of 2011 that put Jefferson County in this competition. The money would go toward flooding solutions that are scalable and reproducible. That way, other parts of the state could take note. Like planting 10,000 trees in the metro, which takes 5,000 gallons a year out of the system. Plus, making facilities and land more resilient, educational programs, stream restoration, or connecting nature trails. We're trying to hit basically the triple bottom line, which is social, economic, and environmental. Now, the winners of this competition will know by December or January, and then that money will become available by the fiscal year 2017. That is the latest from Frankfurt Avenue. Christina Mora, WLKY News. And Project Economy News.